So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to arrange real numbers in increasing or decreasing order. Now, so let's have uh, some examples of real numbers. So these are a set of real numbers where um, we're going to arrange it in increasing order. So we have the first one is a real, uh, real number which is under the rational numbers. Uh, this is uh, also under rational numbers which are in decimal form. Um, these are irrational numbers. Um, these are, I mean, this is an irrational number. This is an integer, a whole number, uh, another one part of rational numbers. But basically, these are rational numbers except for this one, which are which is an irrational number. Now, how do we arrange it in order? So we need to know first um, their their values. Because they are in different forms, some are fractions, some are decimals, some are in, in radicals. So we have to write everything in decimal to easy to make it easier for us to um to compare them, compare the values. Alright, so let's come let's change first. So I'm gonna start with the three fourths. So three fourths, if you convert it into decimals, that's 0 0.75. So if you don't know how to convert it into de to decimal, you're going to make this a denominator by 100 so you have to times it so times it to 25 both the top and the bottom to make it 100 so it becomes um 75 over 100 that's why it's 75 hundreds in the decimal form another way to do it is to divide directly 3 divided by 4 divided numerator by the denominator so it's 3 divided by 4 it will you will have this but um if you want to have the details of that I have a separate video about it and how to convert a fraction to decimal. And this is already a decimal, so you can just copy it because it's the same value. And another one is the square root of 5. So square root of 5, it's an irrational number. So um, it's hard for us to find the exact value of that unless you have a calculator. But let's say we don't use calculator in this case. So what we can do is just to estimate it. So uh, we know that square root of 5 is in between square root of 4 and square root of 9. Because square root of 4 and 9 are perfect squares. Because square root of 4 is 2, since 2 times 2 is 4. And square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. So we can estimate that the square root of 5 value is in between 2 and 3. So that means um, the value of uh, this square root of 5 is around 2 point something. We don't know what's the extra. But we know that's around 2. Uh, more than two so two point something so we'll just put some um, question marks for the extra decimal and then for the negative two so it is just simply negative two and then as well as the zero and then for the the rational number so it's a whole number negative three and then you just change the one fourth to decimal so just divide one divided by four or you can just multiply it by 25 to make this denominator 100 and you have a 25 on top so it will be 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25 if you divide it. So you will have a negative 3.25 in decimal. So having this decimals, including this, this is also a decimal, which is um, just an imaginary 0 0.0. Um, it's easier for you to compare them, which one is bigger and smaller. So here it says that you arrange it in increasing order. So let's start with the smallest and then going to the biggest from left to right. Which one is the smallest here? So of course the smallest numbers are the one which are negative, and which of these two is smaller? So the bigger number is this having smaller value. So which is this? It has bigger number, 3.25. So that means it has a smaller value. So because it's opposite in when it comes to negative. If you say negative one million, then it's going to be having a small value. So we're gonna have that first, and then the next one is the, the other negative, of course because uh, the rest are zero and positives. And so um, the next one is, uh, of course, it's zero because the remaining are positives. So um, th the smallest among these positive numbers is 0 0.75 because the remaining is a ho whole number. It's a three and then the other one is two. So this one, it didn't reach one. So it's the smallest among the three. And then the next one is 3.5 and then 2. Point something. So we don't care what's up 
what's this point something so we'll just but we're sure that it's only two uh, more than two and the other one is three so it will be the next one two and then the last one will be the 3.5 and then now you can remove those uh, decimals and then you have this which is a range from uh, smallest to biggest which is what you call increasing order or ascending another example we have another set of um, real numbers which will be arranged in decreasing order or, or descending so we have three halves it's a rational number an integer i know this is an irrational number as well because it's in decimal form an irrational number a rational number irrational and then rational number. so those are rational and irrational numbers because they are uh, harder to know uh, the, the comparison compared to whole numbers and integers so again we're going to do the same procedure we're going to change it into decimal so that it's easier for us to compare them and remember that we're going to arrange it in decreasing order that means from the biggest value to the small, smallest so we're going to convert three halves um, into decimal so which is equal to 1.5 so basically just divide three divided by two that's 1.5 and then negative 4.18 so you just simply copy it because it's just already in decimal form well the square root of 20 um it's an irrational number so we are going to um we know that it's in between uh these two perfect squares square root of 16 and square root of 25 because square root of 16 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16 and 25 is 5 squared is 5 times 5 is 25 so square root of 25 is 5 so we know that square of 20 is around 4 and 5. So square root of 20 is around 4 point something. We don't know what's this unless you use a calculator. So we know that it's around 4, 4 point and something. So and then 5 fourths is so we're going to convert it into decimals. So you divide 5 divided by 4. So you'll have 1.25 because 5 fourths in mixed form is 1 and 1 fourths. And the square root of 17, so we know that it's in between square root of 16 and square root of 25 again, which is the same as this. So that means it's in between 4 and 5. So like this one. So we we have two irrational numbers which are both in between 4 and 5. So we know that both are 4 point something. And I'm going to teach you how to compare them if it's like that. And the other one is a decimal already, so you just need to copy it. So now we're ready to compare these values. So again, we're doing it in decreasing. So we're going to start from the biggest number. So we're going to focus on the positive numbers first, which are all these are positive numbers. But look at the whole number. This is 1, this is 4, 1, 4. So uh, the biggest is among these two because they start with the whole number 4. Now, now which one of which of these two is, is bigger? We don't know the, the, the tens and the hundreds. So you just look at the number inside the radical symbol. This is 20, the other is 17. So obviously this is bigger because it has a bigger uh, value inside the radical symbol square root. So that means that's the biggest number among these real numbers. And followed by the square root of 17. And then the remaining positives are this, 1.5 and 1.25. So of course they have the same whole number so you look at the tenths value it's five and the other is two so that means this is bigger so we're going to put it here and then the second positive or remaining positive is the 1.25 now the remaining two numbers are negatives so um the we're going to choose the bigger one so the bigger value is the one with a smaller number because it's negative so it's the, the opposite so the smaller the number the bigger the value so we have negative 4.18 and this one is negative 4.65 so this is having smaller number so that means the value of this is bigger because it's negative so that means this is bigger than the 4.65 so that is the next and then the smallest is negative 4.65 and then remove the values so that this is now arranged in decreasing order where this is this the biggest having biggest value square of 20 and the smallest is negative 4.65 so 
that's how you um, arrange real numbers in increasing or decreasing order. So I hope you have learned from, th so, uh, from this video. And please do subscribe to my channel.